going to make some fall outfits for dolls inspired by some fall outfits that I saw on Pinterest. Here I search for some fall fashion and I'm looking for some things that match with the fabrics I have and styles that would look good. The first one I'm going to do is this army green dress with a white turtleneck sweater underneath. To make it easier, I made a pattern so you can print this out. Here's the pattern on just a regular piece of paper. Now I'm going to cut out these shapes. I'm going to cut out the pattern for the dress on some fabric. Now I'm going to start to sew. I'm going to sew from about an inch down to the bottom on one side. And then I'm going to turn it over so it's out like this. And then fold over the edge of the sleeve here and hem along the whole thing from one side to the other. So it looks nice and clean. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the v-neck part in the center. I'm going to fold over both sides and sew all the way along. Also the same thing in the back. And I'm going to also fold over the bottom and sew. Now it's all hemmed up and all the edges are nice and clean, I'm going to fold it in half and sew both of these straps together at the tops. And also I'm going to sew from the bottom all the way up to the inch before the top. Turn it inside out. That completes the dress. Now we're going to start to sew the turtleneck sweater. First I'm going to cut out the patterns. Now that these are all cut, I'm going to place the sleeve on top of fabric and cut out two of the sleeves. I'm going to set these aside for a second, and I'm going to cut out two of the body pieces on the fold of the fabric like this. So only cut around that side, and this little dip. It should look like this. Now I'm going to take the sleeve and line up the curved edge of it with the side of the sleeve hole and on both sides and sew the whole thing together. And when you fold it up, it should be attached like this. I also hemmed the top of both sleeves and the bottom of the whole thing. Now I take the other sleeve and line it up with the dip on the other side, but only sew the first part like that. And then I'm going to fold the whole thing in half like this, and I'm going to sew this sleeve onto the other dip here, and then sew from the top to the bottom. Now that it's all in one piece, I'm going to sew from here to there on both sides. Turn it inside out. And then we can pair this with the dress and try it on a doll. Here's what it looks like all together. I also added some black boots to match the picture more. I'm going to cut two small holes in the ends of the sleeve so that it can look more like the picture. Here's the final result. I think it actually really looks like the picture. It also really looks fall themed like the colors especially. This is the next outfit that I'm going to be making. So first I'm going to cut out four rectangles out of jean fabric that are eight inches by two and a half inches. First I'm going to take two of them and line them up on top of each other. And then I'm going to sew an inch and a half down from the top. And then I'll fold it outwards like this and then I'm going to take the other two pieces and do the same thing. On one of these pieces I'm going to take a pencil and draw a pocket shape on both sides of it and then I'm going to cut out this shape. I'm going to fold over and hem this so that it's going to be a clean edge on both pockets. I'm going to cut two little rectangles out of the same fabric and I'm going to wind them up behind there like this. Now I take the other piece without the pockets and fold it over so the good side is facing down against the other piece with and sew from top to the bottom. Then I fold the whole thing out like this so that you can see the pocket is attached. Now I have the other rectangle and wind it up behind the other pocket and then 
going to fold over the whole top edge, including the pocket pieces, and sew across so that it'll be nice and neat. Then I'm going to fold this in half onto itself, and sew from the top here all the way to the bottom. Now on the bottom parts, I fold it out like this, and then I'm going to fold it under with a piece of elastic on the inside so that I'll sew down the elastic and then pull it slightly as I go to make it gather. And the same thing with the other part. I'm going to sew the pant legs together in this shape. Cut off the excess fabric and then turn them inside out to make some baggy jeans with pockets. These are good and all, but let's make the rest of the outfit too. The next part is a trench coat, so I'm going to have a pattern that you can print out. I cut out all the pieces in fabric according to the pattern. I know my fabric color isn't an exact match to the one in the texture, but I think it's close enough because it's like a fall hue. First I'm going to take this piece, which is the inner facing, and I'm going to sew along the outside, or you can glue it if it's easier, and hem along in the whole thing. So the outer edge of it looks nice and clean. And then set this aside for a second, and I'm going to take the two front pieces and line them up at the edge and sew along. Fold it out like this so the clean side is facing up, and then fold over the bottom and hem along it. I'm also going to hem the edges of the front pieces like this. Now that this is all hemmed, I'm also going to take the sleeves and fold over one edge and hem along it, not the edge with the dips in it, on both sleeves. Now I'm going to fold this out so that the clean side is facing out, and then take the sleeves and line them up with the dips and the edge and sew all the way around. And the same thing with the other one to attach both sleeves. Now I'm going to take this whole thing and fold it in on itself, like this. And I'm going to sew from the sleeve to about here on both sides. And turn this inside out. Now I'm going to attach the inner facing piece, so I start by lining it up the raw edge facing the edge of the coat, and so going all the way around until it's completely attached. And fold it over like this to make a nice trench coat. Here's the whole ensemble with the pants and the coat. I also added this um, white shirt that I made a little while ago that I thought would match. I also added this little belt that I made out of leather. I actually have a video on how to make a simple white t-shirt like this, so you can go check that out. Here's the whole outfit. I added some black boots because I thought they looked fashionable. This actually matches pretty well to the photo, but on to the next outfit. This is the next outfit that I'm going to make. It has some jeans and a coat. I actually also did make a pattern for this one, but it is two pages because it wouldn't fit on one. You can print this out being the size of a piece of paper for both and it will work. Here's the pattern. I'm going to cut out the pieces. And then I'm going to take some stretchy-ish cream fabric that I think matches with the picture and cut out the pieces. You're going to cut two sleeves, two cuffs, and also the collar piece. Now that all the pieces are cut, let's sew them together. So first I'm going to take one of the sleeves and line it up with this curve on the main piece of the sweater and sew along here. So like this. Then I'm going to do the same thing with the other sleeve and the other curve. Now that the sleeves are attached, I'm going to fold over the edge here and the bottom. Since it's all one piece, I'm going to sew all the way around. And I'm going to make sure to get this curve here. Like that. Now I have the pieces for the cuffs, I'm going to fold them in half and then line up their raw edges with the edge of the sleeve and sew along here. And then I'm going to fold it over and do the same thing with the other sleeve. Now I'm going to fold the whole thing in half with the raw edges facing out 
and I'm going to sew from the sleeve to almost at the end here on both sides. And I'm going to turn it inside out. Now I have the collar piece and I'm going to fold it in half, but ignore the hand motions I make because you're just going to sew on the two parts that I put the stuff on. Now I'm going to turn this inside out like this. And then I'm going to line up the raw edge of it with the edge of the sweater and I'm going to sew it going all the way around to attach the collar. It should look like this. Now that the coat is done, I'm going to make some pants. So I cut out the pattern for the pants on top of this same fabric. I cut out two because the pattern said two. And now I'm going to take it and line up the curved edges with each other and sew along here. Now fold it out like this, and I'm going to fold over the bottom of the pant legs and hem them and also fold over the top and hem along here. Now I'm going to fold this whole thing in half like this and I'm going to sew along this curve right here. Now I'm going to fold it in half the other way and have the pants line up like this and sew going from here to there and turn them inside out. Oh, I forgot to mention I also sewed on four little buttons to the jacket and here's the whole outfit. I added the same boots, and I think it looks really nice and seasonal. And I actually think it looks a lot like the picture. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and the Pinterest looks that I picked. And see you next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell us what you thought and what kind of videos you want to see. Bye! Hmm, Sabine, I noticed you're full of tire. But check out... Oh! Icicle, that's just a pumpkin tape to your head. Hum! Well, what about this? That's a paper bag propped up on your head. Well, hold on a second. Here, try this on. What? Well, I mean, unless you really want to have a pumpkin on your head for a week. I do, actually. Icicle, do you know what happens to pumpkins over time? Fine, give it to me. Huh. Thanks for the freshman advice, Sabine. I'll be keeping these now. Hey, it's not what I meant.